let's take a look. College football playoffs released their rankings um, for the college football playoffs yesterday. Ohio State number two behind Georgia, Michigan number three ahead of uh, TCU. Now the winner of the Ohio State-Michigan uh, matchup Saturday will face either Iowa or Purdue in the Big Ten championship game. Let's welcome in Stephen Means. He is the Buckeyes beat reporter for Cleveland.com as well as a plain dealer. Stephen, what are you looking at? What are you watching specifically as the Buckeyes and, and Michigan battle that you think will determine this game? Yeah, I think it's all going to come down to the line of scrimmage, much like it did last year where we saw Michigan basically run all over Ohio State for 60 minutes. Ohio State has put a lot of emphasis on the run game, both sides of the ball, both offensively and defensively. They revamped their defensive coaching staff, bringing in Jim Knowles, who has turned this into what is a top 15, top 10 defense. He wants top five. Really, he wants number one, but we'll see about a lot of that stuff. But he show, he's bringing him in has – we've seen improvement over the last couple of weeks here. We've seen stars emerge like JT Tuimaloa with Zach Harrison and Tommy Eichenberg and Jack Sawyer and on, Mike Hall on down the list there. So it starts there. It starts with that front seven stopping the run because that's what Michigan wants to do. They want to run, they want to run the ball, they want to run the ball, and then they want to run the ball some more. While on the offensive side, it's like, listen, C.J. Stroud is one of the best quarterbacks in America. He's got all these great receivers. We're not really sure what's happening with the running back situation. Dallin Hayden has proven to be a viable option if Travion Henderson and Mayan Williams can't go, and his offensive line has had some good moments. But C.J. Stroud, as good as he is, does not have a win over Michigan yet, and that is a that's a asterisk on his resume right now. He's been one of the more impressive quarterbacks we've seen in Ohio State history, but none of that is going to ma matter if he loses again on Saturday. So uh, as I said to begin this, Ohio State's got to stop the run, but they've also got to be able to run the ball when they want to run the ball, even if at the end of the day they still want to throw it around with C.J. Stroud and all these receivers.